Continuing coverage now, Alec Murdoch seen today for the first time since March when he was found guilty of murdering his wife and son. He and his two alleged co-conspirators in a Beaufort County courtroom for their federal crime charges. A WSAV's Joseph Leonard was inside that courtroom all day. Joseph is joining us live with the latest update. We will see Alec Murdoch back on trial on November 27th, this time in Beaufort County. The convicted killer faces more than 100 state and federal financial crimes charges. Now, first up in the trial, it will focus on the charges in the Satterfield case. Prosecutors say Murdoch directed his longtime friend, attorney Corey Fleming, to write checks, stealing settlement money from the family of Gloria Satterfield. She was the Murdoch's housekeeper who died while on their property. And today, Fleming was in court for his sentencing. Attorneys asking the judge to hand down a lighter sentence. They say Fleming is remorseful for his involvement in the financial crimes. But despite their pleas, Judge Clifton Newman sentenced Fleming to 20 years in prison. We didn't come here today to quabble about a trial date. Um, we came here today to fully acknowledge the illegal conduct to which he engaged, that he is deeply remorseful for his actions. And he appreciates the fact that his actions have impacted innocent people. And that's, that's, one of, that's the reason he pled guilty. My heart bleeds for you because I have no doubt of the quality of human being that you are as reflected by all of the positive comments, um, but you must suffer the consequences of um, your actions. Now the state says Murdoch and Fleming together stole more than $3 million from the Satterfield family. Reporting live in Beaufort County, Joseph Leonard, WSAV News 3, on your side. Joseph, thank you. And we will continue to follow the legal proceedings ahead for Alec Murdoch. You can keep up to date and view past stories at wsav.com slash Murdoch.